Welcome back to Vice Grip Lodge. We're sorry it's taken so long, but we're finally going to answer the most commonly asked question ever, forever, ever in the history of Vice Grip Garage, which is why in the world would you move from Minnesota, Wisconsin area to Tennessee? That's right. So we've written down the top five reasons why we decided to move, and some of them might not be what you would expect. Let's jump in. Are you vapor locking already? We didn't even start. I'll just, it'll be a minute. Well, there's my cup. What's it doing up there? I'm gonna have to put more film in the camera. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. I didn't even say anything. Yeah, he did. <laughs> So as you fellers and fellettes probably already know, we travel a tremendous amount for the Vice Grip Garage channel. And the reason for that is to meet you guys, the fans. And that's one of our favorite parts of every single event is sitting down before, after, or during. Mm -hmm. and just chatting about your projects and family and, and whatever comes up. Uh, recently, a lot of the questions have changed to, why have you moved? I would say, 99.37862% of the time, I meet somebody that's the first question I ask, why did you move? Mm -hmm. Like Jessica was saying, we put together five. I mean, there's really like 398 reasons, but these are like the meat and potatoes of it mm -hmm. with butter. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. the five big ones. So I'm gonna jump right in here. These are kind of in <clears throat> order per se. Number five is the real reason, you know, we pulled up anchor and got out of there, but We'll start with number one, and a lot of you have figured this one out already, is cost of living in Minnesota, Wisconsin, compared to Tennessee is a night and day difference. And other than our home, as you guys know, we had the shop in Minnesota still, and we had the shop in Wisconsin, but what you don't know is we also had a third shop that was full of cars for storage. We also had a bunch of outdoor storage mm -hmm. parking spots and spaces, and and property rentals and things like that. And that's what was needed to make the show happen. It still is today, but we'll explain how it's working today. That maybe doesn't sound like a big deal for some of you, but in addition to all those mortgages, we had utilities. So you have dumpsters and trash and power and propane and everything else, as well as local taxes. We were even paying stadium tax yeah. to a stadium that wasn't even in our town, Yeah. right? So. And then also uh, income tax. So there is no income tax in uh, Tennessee. So when we sat down and penciled everything out to all of these different things that we were paying, and of course our business insurances and everything else, what did you discover? We actually are saving money by living here, like a tremendous amount of money. So that, that was huge, absolutely huge for us. Not only to have everything kind of condensed into one area, but for Derek to not be traveling and stuff as, as often to the shops. Which is a good segue <clears throat> to the next reason. Mm -hmm. Number two reason we'll cover, which I'll let you go ahead and do that. And that again is the shop location. You know, Derek was driving an hour plus one way every day and we sat down and figured out that that averaged about 30 days a year that he would spend traveling. And, and you figure time away from the family and, and everything else that that took away from, it just, it really wasn't worth it anymore. Um, so finding a house that had a shop on the property was just significant and, and it really is gonna help out a lot. It's starting to wear on a guy, because I honestly do work seven days a week and mm -hmm. some weeks are 80 hours, some are 110. Some weeks when we do events, I get 15 hours of sleep a week. So yeah. when you have a situation like we were in, I'd be up and gone early, I'd be back late, I'd edit till two, three in the morning. It got to the point where I wasn't really seeing my family yeah. very much. And that's very, very, very important to me. So we wanted to make a change and kind of in summary of the cost of living and also shop location, now we're spending tremendously less. We have acreage to put our vehicles on and we have the shop on our property that you know i'm a little winded by the time i get there but a guy can walk to the shop you yeah know what I it's, mean? it's definitely nice being able to just take lunch out to him or you know call him quick run out and say it's time to eat dinner whatever and instead of 
another supper without dad home tonight or trying to figure out how to get supper out to him so we can all eat together and it was just so much and so we're just so grateful that we found this place and you know Derek is just right here and we're even finding that like in the evenings a lot of times um, Friday nights we used to always do what we call a uh, pizza party movie night with the kids when they were younger and then it started getting to the point where Derek was always absent for that because he was still at work <clears throat> excuse me or out at the shop and so we're finding here now that he's He's watching those movies with us again, and so he's able to be around a lot more and still getting the same amount of work done, maybe even more work, because he's spending such a less amount of time right. with the driving back and forth. Now on shop location, some of you might be thinking, well, you dummy, why did you lease a shop all the way over in Wisconsin? Well, again, that goes back to cost of living. Mm -hmm. If you wanna have a fun time, Google Minneapolis commercial building for rent, and your brain is just gonna sizzle. I mean, for what we had in Wisconsin, it was easily, easily three to $4,000 a month, plus triple net, which is your portion of taxes and everything else, and TI or tenant improvement and everything mm -hmm. else. You can't do that. I mean, another thing a lot of people don't realize is the first two years of YouTube, we lost, we invested money. We didn't yep. make money, we <laughs> lost money. I was pouring money into the channel, buying cars and parts and fuel and travel and hotels and insurances and buildings and things yep. like that. So when we got that Wisconsin shop, we weren't in a position and we still aren't gonna do that. That's crazy uh, to have a, a commercial lease like that. So next one, I guess we'll call it number three or trace. I don't know. Hub of motorsports. So living way up yonder, up by the Canadian border up there, there's some local car shows and stuff, and we did participate in a lot of those. Yep. Almost every weekend yeah. on some summers. But there's no real big events other than the track and Brainerd and stuff like that. Now out here, we can get to the East Coast, we can get down to Florida, Alabama, Georgia, we can go West Coast. I mean, it's a lot faster and easier to get, you know, to Arizona, Texas, like I was saying, all the states on the east side, even Midwest, it saves us days a week in travel, uh, which for me is huge because I want to always bring the family with if I can, so school schedules, mm -hmm. things of that nature. We save on motels, food, yeah. fuel. Just because I think it's so much more centrally located that it's way easier to get everywhere. And as you guys know, most of the events that Derek does is in Florida. So as when we were living in Minnesota, it was like a three day drive for us to get down there every time. And here it's a one day drive, so. Right, so it take a week just to do a one day event. And for me, that's a huge loss of production, mm -hmm. six days sitting behind the wheel. Um, so I think we've really been enjoying how quickly we can Absolutely. maneuver yeah. now. Man. I don't know. So the number four reason um, is basically our kids growing up. You know, absolutely nothing against people who grew up in the city, but just the way that we were both raised, um, we were both raised kind of in a country or farm setting, and we always wanted that for our children to be able to experience all the things that we got to experience, just running outside and playing with no worry, being able to jump on your four-wheeler or dirt bike or whatever you might have and just go explore. and. That's, like I said, something we always wanted for the boys that we couldn't do in, in Minneapolis. And so that was another huge mm -hmm. thing for us. And even before we decided to move to Tennessee, um, we even kind of looked around in Minnesota for properties that were more, had some acreage on them and stuff to give yeah. them that kind of a lifestyle. So Fun watching them grow up and get to be more independent because they can make those decisions. Like Bradley's shooting his rockets now yeah. every day. We couldn't do that in town. Yep. I remember the first time we moved into our neighborhood, I rode a snowmobile around my property and the police showed up. Yeah, literally, yep. Um, so that's why we're like, wow, we're not used to this. Like yeah. we're used to being able to use your property as you want to use your property. And we just started to find, and again, no offense to anybody that lives in Minnesota, it's difficult to do that when you're in neighborhoods with HOAs yeah. and things like that. And there's some beautiful property in Northern Minnesota and, and Southern Minnesota that give you room but that leads us to the number five reason and ultimately the, the absolute biggest. biggest reason we moved and sometimes i tease people and i just blank at them they're like hey i'm from you know wisconsin dells how come you moved 
down to Tennessee. We're at an event, see, right now. And I go, well, how's the weather up there? It's terrible. Three feet of snow, 68 mile an hour wind. Can't go outside. And I'm like, hmm. It's 73 in Tennessee and the grass is green. Yeah. We gotta mow next week. When you work outdoors for a living, as you guys know, I'm dragging cars out of fields and swamps and tree rows and barns and sheds, and I'm rolling around on the ground pretty much nonstop. Outside, it's fairly important you have decent weather to do that. Absolutely. Now, I'm not complaining about working outdoors. I mean, I've done it, I've done it for years. I grew up in it, fellers, but here's the thing. What it boils down to is three to four months a year, I can't produce content for you guys. Or more, I would guess or even more. more than that. Maybe yeah. four or five months at least. Yeah, you can't even see the cars. You can't work on them. They're frozen to the ground. It's hard enough getting them to start anyway, but when it's negative 38 and you got snot froze to your beard, Gross. it's a little bit more difficult. That's why we ended up doing like snow blowers and snowmobiles and I mean I'm just thrashing away trying to get any sort of content out for fans and I think that was finally the winner that broke me like we we can move yeah yep. if we wanted to and I think you guys saw that this winter we're still in winter technically in some places we haven't missed a Friday we've had steady content out and that's always our goal is always put a smile on your folks face entertain you or you can sit down with your family or your kids and just enjoy some stuff and hopefully get you motivated and get out to the shop in the garage um, so we just decided you know we need to find better weather where we could do what we do best and have fun doing it right yeah and so many times we had traveled through tennessee for events and stuff and every single time we would come through here we were both just always like oh tennessee mm -hmm. it's just so pretty and it's so nice and Everybody, you know, who lives around here, they're the sweetest people and we just always really liked it. So, you know, we decided one day we wanted to be here and like he said, we just got to a point where there was nothing really holding us there. We don't have really family there in Minnesota or <clears throat> anything like that. So there was nothing yeah. holding us back. The last time we drove through here, I think for Power Tour, we drove through a couple of really, really cute towns. Amazing cost. You'd be so amazed at what you can get in Tennessee versus Minnesota. Yeah. It's mind-bottling. And we've threw down some pins on a map and I think we live within a few miles of one yeah. of those towns actually, yep. so it worked out great. But there you go folks. End of day, if you summarize everything together, we made the move to Tennessee so we can more cost-efficiently and more productively and more often create you guys content on a yearly basis. Did I say that right? I think so. Okay. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it very much. We'll see you next time.